there's actually four necessary stages that your hair needs to go through to grow a fluffy full afro and knowing what to do during each and every one of those stages is going to be crucial luckily for you i'm going to be telling you and showing you all of those stages what to do and what to expect so leave a like on this video and subscribe if you're interested in long fast healthy hair growth now let's go ahead and dive in let me quickly preference this video by saying not everyone's hair grows at the same speed or as quickly as others. So be sure to keep that in mind. Also, if you already happen to be in any one of these later stages, it's completely fine to start from there. You don't have to feel like you have to start all the way over. Just start from where you're at. Stage zero. So this is going to be the very start of your hair journey. When I started my Afro journey, I started completely from scratch, like completely Bob, 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 Bob. stage zero is going to be when you have less than half an inch of hair if your hair is at this stage there's a few things you want to expect number one it's not going to happen instantly your hair isn't instantly going to grow and become an afro it takes time and it also takes patience number two quicker hair growth because your hair is shorter, it's going to appear to be growing super fast. It's going to be a lot easier to recognize and spot new growth. So it's going to appear like your hair is just growing extremely fast. All right, now let's talk about what to do during this stage. So during this stage, you're going to want to make sure to do three things. Massage your scalp, oil your scalp, and condition your hair. A lot of people don't know this, but massaging your scalp has been proven to produce longer, thicker, and healthier hair. Next, you're gonna wanna make sure to apply hair oil to your actual scalp. Oiling your scalp provides your scalp with moistures and nutrients that helps your scalp to stimulate and produce fuller, faster, and thicker hair growth. It's very, very, very important to take care of your scalp considering that's where your hair actually grows from. The hair oil that I used early on and that I still use till this day is wild growth hair oil. I highly recommend this oil because of two main reasons. One, it's made up of a bunch of vitamins, nutrients, and other essential oils all mixed together into one tiny bottle. So you're literally going to be getting the best of everything. And two, it just works. It just works very well for most people. Now, wild growth hair oil is intended to be used at least three times per week. What I did was applied it to my hair every other day. So if I applied it Monday, I'd skip Tuesday and apply it Wednesday. If I applied it Wednesday, I'll skip Thursday, apply it Friday, and I just keep it going every single week. You do not wash the oil out. You leave it in. You only wash the oil out when you're ready to regularly wash your hair as you normally would. You're going to need the hair oil throughout the entirety of your afro journey so i'm going to leave the link to it in the description below also if you want to know specifically how to apply the oil you can check out my separate video on it here on screen i'm also going to leave the link to that down in the description below as well okay now the order in which you want to do this is you first want to apply the oil to your scalp after applying the oil to your scalp you want to be sure to massage the oil into your scalp for at minimum two to three minutes after that, you want to be sure to use a high quality leave-in conditioner, preferably something that's a little bit more natural. I can recommend you the ones that I use. I use Ali K's leave-in lemongrass conditioner as well as their Shea yogurt. I'll leave that in the description below as well. After then conditioning your hair, you now want to use a little bit more of that oil to seal in all of the moisture that you just put into your hair. And now you want to use the oil on your actual hair. So oil massage, condition, and then oil. Separate from that, I don't want you guys to think that you only can massage your hair when you put in oil. You're gonna be putting in oil every other day, but you want to massage your scalp every single day for at least two to three minutes every day. This is gonna help you to stimulate a whole lot more blood flow and blood circulation and help you to maximize your overall hair growth. Now remember those four steps because you're gonna need it your entire hair journey. Stage one. At this stage, your hair should be anywhere from half an inch to an inch and a half. If your hair is somewhere in between this length, then you know you're on the right path. Keep in mind that everyone's hair grows at different speeds and different rates, and that these are just averages. Typically, hair grows about half an inch per month. At stage one, you can expect to see a decent amount of growth. If you did everything I said at stage zero, then at stage one, you should start seeing the results. 
What you want to do at stage one is do the same four hair moisturizing techniques that I taught you in stage zero. Oil, massage, condition, oil. Now alongside that, you want to be protecting your hair as you sleep. And to do that, you either want to sleep with a bonnet, a durag, or a silk pillowcase. Regular pillowcases strip your hair of its moisture and absorbs moisture straight out of your hair. You don't wanna be applying moisture into your hair just to get it stripped away when you try to go to sleep. So you wanna be able to protect your hair while you sleep. So the best way to do that is to either use a bonnet, a durag, or a silk pillowcase. Silk tends to be the best when it comes to keeping moisture into your skin and your hair. So I like to double team it and wear a bonnet and use a silk pillowcase at the same time. But the decision is yours. I linked all three of these products down in the description below as well. And last, you want to go ahead and decide on a haircut. Afros can be grown in several different types of styles. So you just wanna decide on what style you want. And the last thing that I want you to do in this stage, literally the last thing that I want you to do is trim your hair. So that means no letting your barber trim your afro in any sort of way. When you get a haircut, you wanna sit in that chair and specifically tell the barber, do not touch any of my hair at all. I simply want a lineup and a fade. That is it. The reason I say this is because if you want the full afro shape, the best way to achieve that is not by cutting your hair at all, at least right now so don't trim your hair at all stage two all right at stage two you should be about three to six months into growing an afro so at this stage your hair should be anywhere between an inch and a half to three inches honestly around stage two mine's was a little bit past three inches i'd say it's probably around three and a half to four inches in length and I feel like that's mainly due to consistently massaging my scalp every day and using hair oil. And this is why I so highly recommend wild growth because I know it works well. What you can expect in this stage is for your hair to start getting tangled a little bit more easily. You can also expect for your hair to kind of be in the awkward phase where your hair's starting to get long, but it's not really long. And it kind of looks weird, kind of like you have like a tiny mini Afro going on. At this point, you wanna start detangling your hair more often, but not excessively. A common mistake that most people make when it comes to growing an afro is excessively picking out their hair. You do not need to, nor do you want to detangle or pick out your hair every single day. It's extremely excessive and it causes unneeded and unnecessary breakage, strain, and stress to your hair. Instead, I recommend detangling your hair as needed. On average, I'd recommend once a week. So you mainly wanna just leave your hair alone, continue to properly moisturize your hair and care for your hair. Next, you wanna start trimming your hair. So you wanna identify if your hair has any damage, any split ends, dead ends, or any other sorts of hair damage. And if you do, you wanna start getting it professionally trimmed. So this means actually going to a licensed cosmetologist and trimming about half an inch to a inch off of your hair. The last thing that you wanna do in this stage is to start looking for a braider. Most braiders need at least four inches of hair to be able to braid. Or if you're like me and your hair's around the four inch mark, you can start getting your hair braided. Which brings me to the next stage, stage three. At stage three, your hair is thriving and starting to look like a full-fledged afro. Your hair should be around three inches to four and a half inches in length. Now we're getting somewhere. You can expect your afro to start rounding out and for it to actually look like an afro. During this stage, you wanna make sure to do four things. First, you're still conditioning your hair and your scalp properly. Second, you want to start putting your hair in a protective style. If you don't know the significance or the importance of putting your hair in a protective style or braiding it, I'll tell you. Protective styles, just as the name implies, it protects your hair. Hair tends to be a lot weaker, loosely separated. So by neatly and tightly braiding your hair together, it becomes a lot stronger, which protects your hair from external damages. Also, when your hair is put in a protective style, it helps your hair to lock in moisture, which creates a optimal environment for your hair to be able to thrive. So by giving your hair that environment, you're helping your hair to grow and stimulate growth. 
Once I started braiding my hair consistently, I started to see a huge increase in my hair's overall growth. I started to see my hair double or even triple in length when it came to growing my hair each month. This is gonna help your hair to maximize its overall potential growth. Meaning if your hair was meant to grow a full inch every single month, by braiding your hair and putting your hair in a protective style, it's going to help you to achieve that full inch mark instead of just half an inch or less than that. This is why putting your hair in a protective style is so important. So once you get to this stage, you wanna go ahead and start. If you need help finding a braider or a cosmetologist to professionally braid or trim your hair, you can watch my video on it here. I'm also gonna link that video in the description below for you guys as well. Also, if you need help deciding on what protective style to get, you can watch my video on screen here. Again, also in the description below. But whatever protective style you decide to get, you want to leave it in for at least one month so that you can get the full benefits of having your protective style. Three, you want to start getting your hair regularly trimmed. Like I stated in the last stage, trimming your hair is very important for your hair's health. Especially at this stage, it's gonna be a regular necessity to get your hair trimmed. I recommend getting your hair trimmed every three months on average. But now that your hair is longer, it is gonna appear like your hair is growing a bit slower just because it's not gonna be as easy to notice hair growth since your hair is now a lot longer. Stage four. At this stage, your hair should be anywhere from four and a half to six inches in length. This is the final stage, so congratulations if you made it this far. At this point, you know how to properly care for your hair and your hair has been thriving. You can expect your hair to continue growing and continue thriving as long as you're making sure to properly care for your hair and being consistent when it comes to hair care. You can also expect for your hair to be a bit harder to manage considering that you have a lot longer hair, so it's gonna be harder to detangle as well as wash. There's not much to do in this stage, so you just wanna be sure that you're putting in protective styles on the regular, properly conditioning your hair, getting regular hair trims, and honestly, just enjoying your hair. And there you have it, the four stages to growing an afro. If you like this video, be sure to leave this video a like so that others can enjoy it as well. And if you know someone that's really struggling with their hair or that's really interested in hair growth, send them this video. Trust me, they'll thank you for it later. And again, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Let's go on this Afro journey together. So subscribe with the bell so that you can stay notified when I drop another amazing hair video. Also, stick around, head over to my channel and just scroll through. I guarantee you'll find another informational and entertaining video just like this one. So check it out. Follow me on all my socials. I've been trying to get my Instagram followers up, so follow me over there. But yeah, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for coming back and seeing me. I really appreciate it. I'm Kozak, and I'm going to see you guys later. Peace out.